So um, yeah, bottle ninety nine. Once again, Jesse Miller, uh, associate artistic director from Quasimondo, here with Kirk Thompson, the production manager at Quasimondo. Yep. Um, Brian Rott couldn't be with us um, due to a um, uh, headache. Um, I think he tried to lift something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what it was. But um, Bottle 99, um, our next production, our production coming up after the wonderful uh, um, last show of Love and Cthulhu. By which was great. Which was awesome. Oh, man. And um, Finished out on such a high, high note. High, strong note that we <laughs> like to finish. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, no, Bottle 99 is going to be a... Another epic tale told by the Quasimundo Theater Troupe. Um, a solely physical piece yeah. um, incorporating animation, surround sound, which is not yeah. done in small theaters. Right. Um, and it's going to be a deep space odyssey about a small crew who is trying to make it to a known planet that can support human life. <coughs> uh the uh, the capabilities of um, our space is always being tested in shows. I mean, we 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 test it in every single show. In um, our shows, you will not come in and see the same staging, the same set um, uh, configuration. Um, it's always being manipulated. For this show specifically, um, we are having it literally designed specially modified for surround sound um which is going to be just it's going to be awesome yeah <laughs> um, to have that transformation it's roughly you know stage and space wise you're looking at roughly 2,000 square feet being transformed you know so that it literally will bring you into the elements of space <coughs> you know, or at least in what we <coughs> imagine space is um, another interesting mm. element with this is that there is only going to be um, six to seven cast members in this, and for Quasimundo, that is really like we usually do big shows. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, like ten to, 10 to 50, f right, fifteen, 15 people. people. You know, because we, it just for our physical work, the way that we work movement, um, actors, they we use their bodies to suggest right. different. Anything from like a literal stalactite on stage gets created right. by the actor, right? Um, to using their bodies to uh, convey emotion um, and like an inner monologue of a, of the main focus. Mm. We do a lot of chorus work, but now we're going to really peel that away and focus on a small group of characters in a small space right. in a ship. And, you know, it, uh, they're, they're telling the story of, of, you know, existence, uh, hoping to get to a, a point where they could keep life going and, and, and keep, you know, what, what was continuing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, very interesting, you know, theme. Uh, it'll be very... Um, interesting on how we're going to present that physically and keep the audience in involved through the through the varied you know uh, characters in this mm -hmm. and and tell their story and have it done literally by physical movement only mm -hmm. with well I should say with sound and wonderful animation as well um, the animation specialist um, is Patrick Beck um, uh, it's a local um, anime um, maker and uh, just wonderful. Um, looking forward to working with him on this and, um, you know, some of his creations and stuff. And um, But bringing that into live theater, I guess, is the yeah. exciting part. It's, it's very it's just exciting. It's not done, you know? Yeah. It's not done. Not um, by small. Right. Right. You go to see Warhurst, you're going to see that. Right. You go to see other shows, you might see them using animated projectors, but uh, we want to 
go there and do it mm -hmm. and explore. And, and, and like our um, past productions, it's, it's a process that we take to develop shows. Um, when we go into a rehearsal, the start of rehearsal, nothing is scripted. Um, we generate that material through the process so that, you know, by the four weeks when we finish our rehearsing, there's a story that's built, um, totally blocked out, and, um, you know, ready for, you know, performance. Um, yeah. and, and that element in itself is a, a unique feature that other theater companies aren't really um, experimenting with. And um, we've been fortunate enough to make it our means of motive to get productions um, created. And we believe in that process. It's a, it's a true, true c collaborative effort in that sense that, you know, everybody mm -hmm. who is a part of the production is contributing, you know, um, through, through study, through prior knowledge of what we're trying to create, and then those elements are brought into the rehearsal process, and what elements work, we keep, and then mold, and then put right in, you know? And a show is formed that way. Yeah. Um, the show uh, opens up April 4th. Yes, which is April 4th, and it will run for three weeks. Yeah, um, like our other productions, mm -hmm. um, there'll be pay what you can nights um, on Monday nights. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a Sunday matinee for those of you who like to um, come to theater during the or day. Or who work at night. Or who work at night, um, which will start at 2 p.m. And uh, yeah, it runs for three weeks. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday with a Monday and uh, Sunday performance. Um, come out. Oh, yeah. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to. <laughs> if you, yeah. I would say that anyone who saw this production would probably have their socks blown off. Yeah. Rocked yeah. off. Hopefully. Where's this at? This is at the Fortress, which is um, it's just uh, north of downtown in the Brewers Hill area. Mm -hmm. um, we're located on Pleasant Street. If you're familiar with that area, you might... Um, no lakefront brewery, um, more close by. Um, the Birds Hill area is a, a, a wonderful, uh, homey type of um, you know, living space. Yeah. Um, Schlitz Park is Schlitz there. Schlitz Park is there. Um, King Brady Drive. Street. Right, Brady Street. Very close to downtown. And then do you guys have a, a third show coming up? Or is this your last show? No, um, we we have a, a third, third show, show coming come up. <laughs> Animal Farm. Right, as if as if we weren't you know adventurous enough with <laughs> H H P Lovecraft. We're gonna <coughs> dive into uh, um, mm -hmm. Animal Farm, and which is gonna be an epic, epic quasi mundo show. Um, about when will that be running? Um, March April. Um, that will be in June. Okay. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's going to be at least 20 people involved in that orchestrated music. Yep, we're going to have live music on stage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be going to be an epic show, puppetry. Yeah, puppetry galore. Well, it's nice seeing the ambition that you guys want to put into this. Yeah. You know, and, and also the variety. Mm -hmm. You've got, you know, the Cthulhu show going from that to a non-speaking small show to a larger show. You know, right. From, you know, to Lovecraft to Orwell. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And beyond, you know, yeah. not yeah. stopping. Exactly. Yeah. So. yeah, you know, and then, you know, one of the things, I guess, you know, um, that is fascinating with quasi is that you know our class structure for um, uh, our capabilities that haven't really had an opportunity for people to know about you know um, so you know you can take you know you have mask building class acting class dance class movement form classes you know um, and that are literally available um, at the space um, for people to come on in you know, and, and take advantage and start to 
develop some of these skills for their own use or you know or maybe to help with a, a project they're working on with another company you know um, some of the uh, skill sets of our um, artist Jesse here included it's just amazing um, uh, I find them amazing you know and um, we really look forward to to start bring to to bring these skills out more you know mm -hmm. And that, that will be coming up in our, this season, but through next season, we'll, we'll have this as a regular um, outlet for people. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, thanks for coming in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank really you. Cool.